Hey, my loves, you are tuned in to Lovely Angel Lady, L to the A to the L. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Live life, look fab, and feel fly. Don't forget to subscribe. Today, we are cleaning these dirty brushes. As y'all can see, I have quite a bit of dirty brushes and makeup sponges here. I'm going to be using these two little silicone brush cleaning mats that I ordered from Amazon. They don't cost a whole lot, y'all. But they have little suction cups on the back. And that just helps them secure to the sink while you're cleaning your brushes. So you just plop that down in the sink, press that down, and it helps secure it. It will lift from time to time. You just press it back down while you're running water or whatever. And this is a different one. This one's small, so it has one big suction cup, this round one. And it's kind of choosy where this one, this one be acting shady. They don't know where in the sink it wants to stick to, but I got it to secure. So I'm going to use that. If I didn't have these long nails, I would probably have on one of those dish cleaning gloves. The ones that go like to your elbow, I would use one. Um, but it's all good. So we're going to be using our hand in addition to that. I'm going to show you first this Eco Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo. I'm going to show y'all how that works. Because before I was using Zote Soap, I was using this stuff and it works pretty good. I just want to show you so that you have your options. There are many good products out there. Like in between cleaning my brushes, I will use like the e.l.f. Makeup Brush Cleaner Spray. But that's like, you know, a temporary clean. It's not, you know, thorough getting all the bacteria and stuff fully out. Especially if they're pretty caked up with products. So anyway, you can see that this one I use for powder. So it did have quite a bit of buildup in this brush. And I take it depending on how much product is in there. And quite enough, like I swirl that around in my hand. And then I run it under the water, swirl it again until I see that it's white. It's no longer looking brown or tan. I just keep doing that. And then it's also going to be important not to leave any shampoo. You don't want to leave makeup brush shampoo or soap, anything like that in your brushes. When you're going to set them aside to dry, you want to make sure that you get all of that out. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm squeezing and see, I test it. It's still foamy. I'm going to do the same thing again. Zoom in a little bit so y'all can see better. All right, love, so it is time to pop open this Zote soap. I am going to take my shears and just cut this open. Just to let you know, you don't have to use the pink one, but that's just what I purchased. You can get these uh, at the dollar store for a dollar. I got mine from Walmart, so you can also go to like Walmart and get them. It, this soap is like used for laundry, but it's uh, it says more whitening power on there. Zote, and it's a big old bar as you can see it does have like some people might be a little bit sensitive to the scent because it's pretty strong like i think i've gotten used to it at first i i didn't really like the scent it doesn't smell bad it's just a little strong no breakouts or anything like that but i'm just taking three at a time so I can show you how I save time when I have brushes that are similar in length. I just pair them together and just smaller brushes like this. I use these right here for like concealer. So they have a lot of product caked up in them. As you can see, so I'm using my hand, the mat and the soap, <laughs> but those are clean. So now this is another bestope brush that I ordered the set from Amazon. If you guys are interested in um, getting more information on those, just let me know. But nice and clean. This is a 
blending brush that I got from e.l.f. And I have to look at them because I have so many like e.l.f. brushes. But even though it's a blending brush, like I use this brush also to apply foundation. This is one of the brushes that I use, one of the few. Well, actually I have quite a bit of foundation brushes. Like these are not, this is not all of the brushes that I have, but these are all dirty. And so I need them clean so I can do more videos for you guys. So anyway, that NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop does not play child. Do y'all see all this product? It's that matte, that matte foundation and honey, it is holding to these bristles. But we're trying to get all that dust and bacteria up out of this thing. So I'm just showing y'all like how much product was up in here. And you see how powerful this Zote soap is so strong. So I repeat, that's what I was telling you, depending on how much product is in there, because I want to see that the soap is coming on my hand when I swirl it around and it's white. It's not all tan and muddy looking. We don't want that. Mm -mm, honey. So I make sure also that I get the handle because bacteria, dust, germs, any of that stuff that you don't want, that caca stuff, you want to make sure that you clean the handles as well because why would you just want the bristles clean and then the handles still have germs and you have to touch those when you apply your makeup. So just be sure to do that. Don't forget. It's easy to forget to do that until you get in the practice of doing it. I wasn't quite finished with this one because it still had a little bit of suds in there and then I wanted to make sure the foundation was off of that handle so I went back and went over that again so you'll want to pay attention to that loves when you are cleaning your brushes make sure your handles are clean give that a squeeze and that one's nice and clean so we are moving on and um, this one is another bestow brush from Amazon I love the color it's like a champagne color but I'm just taking that in my hand and just swirling it around and as you can see that thing right there I kind of have to anchor it down a little bit to use it but it's pretty good it's got some rough little ridges on there that one's more flat so I to get that handle clean and then you see how the handles are shaped they kind of feel like wands I love these brushes like I'm so in love with them that I think I'm gonna get another set let me know if y'all do want the information though for real your girl is trying to keep y'all honey's looking fly you know what I'm saying yeah so that one is nice and clean and I'm just trying to show you thoroughly because this is not a process that, you know, you're done in 15 minutes if you have a whole lot of brushes because you want to make sure that you are getting them clean and you're getting all the product out of there so you can remove the dust, the bacteria, and everything that's in there. Speed cleaning will not <laughs> do that for you if you're not paying attention and making sure the product is out of there and making sure the water is clear at the end of each brush. I love the angle of this one. I like to use that one like when I'm doing uh, contouring because of the angle. I kind of use my brushes for whatever it works for best for me. So it could be like a bl um, something like a blush brush or a powder brush and I can use a powder brush for blush and vice versa kind of swap them. That's what I do. But this brush right here is, this is one of the Equal Tools brushes that I love. I absolutely love this brush. I had got a set. I can't remember what the name of that set was. I'll um, look it up and try to find out for y'all. But Equal Tools, they make really, really good brushes. You can go to Target, Walmart and purchase those as well as I believe they sell some in Ulta 
And you can order online. You can order Equal Tools brushes from Amazon, but that one's nice and clean. This is another e.l.f. brush. I use this brush right here, y'all, when um, I am doing my contour. Yeah, it kind of, you know how you, when you're doing your cheeks, like I love, like the shape of it is perfect to like blend out, whether it's uh, cream or powder is, you know, usually I use that for the cream. A little bit with the powder too, but that one's easy to clean. You just squeeze and you see it at the end where it was white, it's actually white. It's not brown anymore. As you know, like when you're actually contouring, the powder can be dark, like when you have brown skin. So anyway, this is a number seven brush that I am showing you that I'm cleaning right now. I used to work for Boots um, at, through Walgreens when I lived in Texas, when I was in uh, Houston. I loved that job. Well, that was one of the brushes that um, I used for clients. Like whenever we had customers come in to like purchase and they wanted to try the products and everything. So basically, um, I was like a beauty advisor. But yeah, that's a foundation brush. Number seven brushes are bomb. Don't sleep on those. But I think they're somewhere like in the UK um, is where uh, that company started, but they branched out a little bit, you know, into the US a few years back. But this is another bestow brush. That's just a fan brush. I use that when I'm applying my highlighter, of course, when she wants to glow. You know. You want to be kind of gentle with those. Don't pull on them too much, but squeeze to get the water out. Because, you know, fan brushes are so fluffy and light. But this is another bestow brush. And this is one of the ones that I use, I believe, to apply. Is this one for my foundation? I think this is one of the ones I use for foundation and also um, to do the contouring too. Because some of my brushes, y'all, they do have multiple purposes, okay? So even though I'm cleaning these, I'm just kind of sort of going through the motions and telling y'all what I use them for. If you've watched like any of my makeup tutorials or videos, you probably are pretty familiar with that already. Oh, I love this brush right there, y'all. This is a flat top Kabuki. It's a Kashima brush. Ordered this from Amazon. This baby is bomb for foundation application. I'm hype, but I'm telling you, this one is fire. I love how this thing works with like liquid foundation especially this is my friend okay but yeah i just repeat the process because like i said before with foundation the product buildup is so heavy and i don't usually use my foundation brushes over and over and over and over this is like one time of using it and i'm cleaning my <laughs> foundation brushes i'll go grab another foundation brush but look how muddy and icky and this is like, what, the third or fourth time already? So do take the time and do that. I mean, I know sometimes our arms and back be hurting, you know, but you got to get in there, sis. You got to get in there and get them clean. Our brushes are like family, just like our wigs. Nice and clean. You see how the white looks white again? And the Zote Soap, um, I have not had any breakouts or anything from it. This is a blush, um, a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is a blush brush from um, e.l.f. And I really like their brushes. I like 
how lightweight it is, but I use this one pretty much what it's intended for, um, for blush application. And I like um, that it's not too heavy. It doesn't apply the product too heavy. So I have options and how much, you know, I want my blush to show or not. But anyhow, moving on to the next one. Y'all, I don't even know this thing. Y'all remember these brushes were popping because they're not really that popular anymore. But every now and again, I like to use that one like um, when I'm doing like concealer under my eye, you know, and I don't want to use a sponge. Sometimes I'll use that one in place of a regular makeup brush. So I'll just be trying to like sometimes make that bright under eye without taking off too much product with the sponge under the eye sometimes. So when I want that real bright eye, sometimes I'll use that. Every now and again, I just like to look woke. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But these are hard to clean, y'all. Ain't gonna lie. Sometimes that one will just sit and sit because she don't get no love. Because look at all that. I have to go through to clean this one. But nice and clean now. This is um, one of the brushes that I got from Shop Miss A. I like those brushes too. And you can go on the website and get a brush for a dollar. Do you hear me, sis? A dollar. Yes, slaying on a budget, but really, really good quality brushes for the low low. Okay, thank me later. <laughs> okay. So that right there, um, I like to use um, like in the crease, I believe I use that one for. At the end of the day, you know, this one is a NYX one. There be 12 brush. I love how fluffy this is. It's really good for blending eyeshadow. Swirling that one around as well. I think I've had this brush for a while. But as you can see, I don't discriminate. I have brushes, other brushes that you are not going to see in this video because they weren't dirty. But I have sets from BH Cosmetics. I have more MAC brushes. Uh, I have quite a bit of brushes that um, maybe you guys will see them in the future. You guys will definitely see them in videos. But this is another Bestope brush here. For the eyes, I'm just gonna twirl that around, twirl, twirl, twirl. And you guys can see how repetitive this is, but like I said, it's not something that gets done in five minutes and voila, you're done. And even with this video being a little bit sped up for you and um, stuff, it's gonna take a while. But this is an e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm just showing y'all that. I have quite a bit of e.l.f. brushes. I love e.l.f. e.l.f. is the business. Their products are affordable. You can go to the drugstore to purchase them and be on your way. But their brushes are amazing. I want to know what kind of brushes y'all use. Like, what kind of brushes do y'all have? Like. You know, and what do you use to clean your brushes? Put it in the comments below. I want to talk to y'all. Your girl want to holla at you. You know what I'm saying? And you see, like, the Zote soap is taking a, a beating. <laughs> it's, like, dented inward for me, swirling and dipping. But, hey, it ain't got to be cute. As long as your brush is clean. You're going to take that and put it in a bag afterwards and be done with it till next time you won't even have to look at it even if it's looking ugly but that's another um, eco tools brush right here that I use when I'm doing my shadow it's a fluffy brush like I said those are really awesome brushes too I got a set 
of those. It was like a small brush set with like five brushes, I think it was. But I got that from Ulta like last year sometime. Ooh, y'all, it is time for the sponges. So I'm going to take this one here. I like the slant of this sponge. I really do. I have like different types of sponges. I have eco tool sponges. I have the little cheap sponges. I have um what other sponges do I have? I have some that I ordered from Amazon as well. But I love this one when I'm like putting my powder, like, you know, setting my powder on my face. And I want, you know, the the um, contour to like be real sharp. I love to use this one. But I kind of just, you know, put the soap and make sure first that it's wet and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze but be gentle don't squeeze too hard but look how clean look at all that product coming out of there see so like if you focus on the area like rub your thumb real real good over the area that uh, you want to concentrate on like say it's a bunch of foundation stuck in that spot you'll see it start coming out it'll come out of the sponge and onto your hand look how clean Now this one looks stanky. Not stinky, but stanky. This is just one of the little cheap ones that I was telling you is, it's not like super hard, but it's harder than like, you know, the more pricier ones, the beauty blenders and stuff like that. But when I like run out of sponges, sometimes I'll just grab whatever. I'm like, if whatever works. Whenever I run out and um, everything else is dirty and stuff like that. So. Same thing though. Wet it. Roll it around in the soap. Look at that. See, I'm concentrating on where that foundation was built up in there. And that has foundation, concealer, so much product in there. It's not even funny. So I'm going to roll it back over. Kind of take it wherever you see the product at and roll it over right directly like on the soap and keep squeezing rinsing squeezing you just keep repeating that until you don't see the brown or the color of the makeup the tan whatever color your makeup is you want to keep doing that and then when it comes out clear like that is no more suds then look you're good to go this is a process, okay? But after you're done, you just take your bar of Zote soap and it'll kind of be a little dented from the other side. That's the side that was against the sink. Look kind of cray, but that's okay. Well, we just take that and we want to make sure we rub where the makeup got stuck and rinse it off, see how clean that is. And I'm going to take it and put it in a freezer bag. I like the little bags like this because you just slide the little tab across and it's closed and those are nice and sturdy bags so I just pick up my little mats and it's gonna have lots of soap residue and crap on it so I take it under warm water really um, good warm water and just kind of it's like when you do that it's kind of cleaning it anyway because it already has soap on it so kind of disinfecting it at the same time but those are good and clean so the finish clean brushes no more bacteria no more dust no more crusty stuff my brushes and my mats and my little makeup sponges are all clean i really hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'm gonna catch it next time loves bye